I'm Cindy. I'm Bill. Today we're gonna be watching There's No I in Threesome. We're really, really excited. It's gonna be dope. <laughs> That's Zoe. And this is me, Ollie. We got engaged one year ago and have been in an open relationship for three months. It's hard enough to make a commitment to one person. Listen. How the f do you make it to two? Being in an open relationship has allowed me to embrace being bisexual. So with the wedding as the finishing line, being open seemed like the perfect way to get that out of my system. Does he put his number at the end of this movie? <laughs> <laughs> when we started, I didn't know if I wanted to jump right away into open because mm -hmm. I felt that we needed a foundation. Whoever you, you become intimate with in whatever way, as long as everyone is aware that I'm your person and you mm -hmm. are my person, that's pretty much what's most important to me. An open relationship? Do you know what that yeah. means? Living together. <laughs> Mom's gonna freak. <laughs> you're together, but you're allowed to have sex with other people. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Does your family know? They do. They what do. your mom say? Of course, Jonathan. What's your dad say? My dad has a character. He's like, oh, son. <laughs> son, that is beautiful. Like, <laughs> I, I want that. That's what I need. Would you tell your mom that you were in an open relationship? My mother knows that she didn't raise a confused son. Your family thought they were the Kennedys. Yes, they did. Uh, like, you know what? So we can't even really go there either. Keep the tension, don't Oh, like that's so, so weird. Why is this weird? Because I'm hurting you. You're not hurting me. Just pull it harder, like that. He is clearly not into this. You like that? I'm sick. I'm Love sorry. That. There's something mentally wrong with them. Oh, wait, is this the true story? It was a documentary, bitch. I didn't know that. <laughs> Focus, we're making a film about our open relationship. How's it going? It's going really good, so if you want to, you know, like... All right. Whatever. <laughs> all right, all right. Holy shit, a sex party? That is so fire. You want to go to a Swingies party? Yeah. Right? Absolutely. When people ask us why we're in an open relationship, we cycle through explanations, but nothing sticks until we mention that we are long distance. You hear that bullshit? And then people get it. I'm going to Auckland oh, Airport without Ollie, it. but he promises he's coming soon. I'm going because you can't be an actor in Dunedin, turns out. I bet you this all blows up. If I were in a long distance relationship, I feel like knowing who I am now, I would have to be able to be open. This is the thing, as long as you're not like, trying to make heart connections out mm. there, f away, f everything you want. Doesn't distance make the heart grow fonder for somebody else? We've had distance in our relationship. It didn't mean that we had to go out and sleep with somebody else. So how's that up there? Is it better than down here? Yeah, yeah, there's way more matches. Zoe needs to learn how to be alone. She oh, needs to like... Hot date. Why is she already on a dating app? Is she know. that needy? She's a G, I love her. I think he's watching Flubber. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 is that? God. I'm so. I don't think I'm for open relationships anymore. I, I just I don't understand no. how this is going to work in any shape, way, or form. Hi, what do you do? Trying to relax. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Stop talking, to be great. Oh, no, that's fing awful. And fuck that guy who's shut up. Like, that's not your main person. I'm getting like hot flashes. Yeah. Right now. And not in the good way. Like, no. Ollie? Meet Tom. Tell me, Ollie. Hi, Ollie. This is the start of the crumble. This Tom again? The guy's directing my play. He's got a really good sense of humor. Like it's it's different to your sense of humor, but he's 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 really witty and sharp. Oh God! And... No. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. You don't say that. You're literally not taking a second to consider, Ollie. It's so clear that he's in pain. Yeah. Why would you want to do this to someone you love? I don't think he's into this at all at this point because she's not there. Well, so he doesn't have any control. <laughs> oh, God. Being polyamorous means choosing to reject monotony. That means we have to negotiate jealousy instead, which is just an emotion you can train yourself to overcome. Oh, he got his feelings yeah. hurt. We're both jealous but it can coexist with trust well, yeah of course so you can feel completely secure in the relationship i want jealousy within yeah me. the jealousy would prompt me or the territorialness would prompt me to want to be like let me remind you what i do what, like I, what it is are. exactly like what? yeah went on a date with siobhan it's just nice to 
feel desired by someone new. Do you want to say anything to Zoe? I'm looking forward to being in your life and Ollie's life. And if you're not, that's cool too. I can go away and do something else. I think Siobhan has no idea, you know, what she's getting herself into. Definitely um, has a different energy. Mm -hmm. She keeps her clothes on more. <laughs> We're about to have a first threesome with Siobhan and there might be butt play. <laughs> he is about to give himself an enema on camera. You gotta be kidding. What? What the f are they doing? Gosh, are we so boring and monogamous? No, this isn't a sex thing, this is a health thing. Today is a day we appreciate that I've got a really healthy, well-functioning anus. One to 10, how you think it's about to go? I think it's gonna be a, uh, an eight. I think it's gonna be a 10. This is a white people sh It's like they're trying to make a music video. <laughs> This is not the way a threesome looks like to me. Oh, wait, they're not showing the f Well, they can't, maybe. <laughs> they can't show us. What do you mean they can't? It's a documentary. Tom told me you love me. When? A couple days, day or so ago. What did you say? I said, um, me too. Boy, what? Double Zoe. Paradise. It does feel like I'm giving up part of you. It doesn't matter. When we have kids, he's not going to fit into our family unit, so. Okay. We'll just have kids. Well, now. Yes, now. They're changing all of their rules for their, the situation that they're in. She said, when we have kids, when we have kids, when we have kids, you're not willing to let him go right then and there, then you're not willing to let him go, period. I like to sit them all down and counsel them all. Oh, you guys look cute together. <laughs> Coffee. Let's make some tea. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Nope. Do you think he's really gonna be sexual with him? I think you need some f***ing volume. If you were to meet my partner, I don't, I don't, would tea be the first thing in, in your mind? I don't know. I think something stronger, maybe. We want to show the world what vulnerability and love and intimacy can be like, but you're kind of taking away that vulnerability because you are hiding behind the camera. That's true. Ali, you're on the outside of that circle. Hasta la vista. Ali welcomed that in a sense. I feel what you're saying. There's gotta be a little bit of sensitivity towards his feelings. How are you? I'm okay. What are you doing tonight? Nothing. What are you doing tomorrow? What's about to happen? Oh, oh my God, no way. Oh shit! I think we should break up. We were perfect. I was perfect for you.